I'm joined by one of the figures that's still in. That's Tom Tugendhat, chair of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee. Um, Mr Tugendhat, you got today 37 votes. You're still in the contest, but according to the YouGov uh, members poll, you get the backing first choice of just 8%. Surely, given that you only got 37 out of uh, somewhere in the region of 358 Tory MPs, you're not going to tell me the, the, the momentum's with you, are you? I absolutely am. And I'm going to tell you that for the very simple reason that your survey there reflects the fact of knowledge of various of the candidates. And of course it's true that some have got greater name awareness than others. But it's also true that colleagues who know me, who actually have worked with me in many different ways, have demonstrated their confidence. And that's exactly why we've got the momentum. And we've got the momentum because we're talking about a clean start. Many of us have really had enough of quite a lot of the actions of the last few months and years and we're all ready for a clean start in this government so that we can have a government that serves the people and a Conservative Party that serves its members. Now to get into that last two that puts you in front of the membership that allows you access to TV debates and to uh, uh, put your face around the country, you need another 90 or so votes uh, in order to achieve that. Where on earth are they going to come from given that uh, only 37 have backed you so far? Well, Sam, you're not going to be at all surprised to hear that I'm not going to tell you exactly who I'm talking to and uh, exactly where we're having these conversations, but it's not going to surprise you either to hear that there are a lot of conversations happening tonight and will no doubt be happening in the morning. To Jeremy and Hunt and uh, his support. We're going to be talking to a lot of people. Uh, of course, we're going to be speaking to a lot of people and uh, there's still a hell of a long way to go yet. Um, now, the two people that were knocked out today, uh, Jeremy Hunt, whose campaign never really seemed to get much momentum, uh, and uh, Nadim Zahawi, who had um, quite a lot of promise, many thought, at the start of this campaign, but seems to have had a lot of uh, negative briefing around him, accusations around his tax affairs. What do you make of the way this race is being conducted? Well, look, I think the way that uh, people have treated Nadim Zahawi is utterly disgraceful, because the briefing against him has been completely unacceptable. What we need to do is we need to have a clean campaign. What we are doing here is we are running a democratic campaign in order to allow the membership of our party to choose from the two members of parliament who actually in, uh, enjoy the support of most of their colleagues. Now, that's a really important thing to do. It's massively important because whoever wins is going to be the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and lead us into the next general election. Hang, hang, you're making a, 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 a serious charge here. Uh, you say uh, that there's been disgraceful briefing against Nadine Zahawi. What are you talking about and who's behind it? Well, I can't tell you who's behind it. All I can say is that these stories have appeared uh, seemingly from nowhere. Uh, at a very, very in brief moment uh, and with very poor sourcing. Um, there are always a lot of rough-and-tumble stories at the time of the leadership election. You're singling out the treatment of Nadine Zahawi. I mean, his supporters might end up coming over to your camp if you play your cards right. Uh, is this a tactical play to try and get some of Nadine Zahawi's supporters on side? Or do you, can you identify specific things that you think stand out more than the usual kind of hurly-burly of a Tory leadership contest? No, this is fundamentally about cleanliness in politics. This is exactly what we are campaigning for. In my team, that's exactly what I'm arguing for. And that's exactly why I'm standing to lead this great party. Because I'm standing for a clean start because... We've seen the issues that have arisen over recent months and years, and sadly we seem, seem to see some of them again. And what we really need to see is we need to see a complete refresh of the Conservative Party's way of doing things. Now, actually, there are fantastic colleagues here. There are amazing colleagues in council chambers across the country, and I know what they want too. They want a clean start based on the values of Conservatism, based on the values of the United Kingdom, and frankly, just to have a proper debate, to have a proper competition of ideas so that we get the best two candidates from Parliament put before the membership. And what we also get is the member's choice. Now, there is a lot of briefing all over the place. For instance, Nadine Doris today talking about there being some kind of coup when it comes to ousting Boris Johnson. There's an anyone but Rishi campaign that's going on beneath the surface here. You don't single out either of those two things. Do you think that actually this race is fairly unedifying? Well, I certainly think that what we need to do is to have uh, Reagan's principle applied. Conservatives should not speak ill of fellow Conservatives because, frankly, whatever happens, whoever wins, when I'm in number 10, as leader of this party, what we need to be doing is to bring the party together. Now, already, I'm delighted to say that my campaign has brought together people from all wings of the party and actually all parts of the United Kingdom. So being that person who can unify the party is going to be absolutely essential to bring the party together and to winning the next general election. Final question. 
the person with observable momentum in terms of MPs backing them, support in the uh, Tory membership uh, poll is Penny Morden. Would you serve in her cabinet? Look, at the moment, I am very, very focused on one thing. I am absolutely focused on winning this leadership election. And I tell you, with the momentum that we've got, I'm absolutely confident that we will.